Welcome to the third video on binary numbers. In this video, we're going to look at how to convert decimal numbers to binary numbers. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you the place value table or addition method. In this video, our goal is to find out what place value combinations build up the decimal number that leads to converted into binary. I can only use ones for any of the place values as in the binary number system I only have the digit 1 and 0. In a further video I'm going to show you a different method called the division method. So it doesn't matter which way you learn to convert binary numbers but whatever method you feel more comfortable with just stick with that and then your answer will be just as correct if you were doing it with the other method. So the table method it's called the place value table method because we are going to use the binary place value to convert decimal numbers. For that, again, let's look at what the binary place value table looks like. So remember that the place values were 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, etc. You can continue this as long as you wanted to. But these numbers also translate back down to normal decimal numbers without the power form. So 2 to the power of 0 would be 1, 2 to the power of 1 would be 2, 2 to the power of 2 would be 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So if I have got a decimal number such as 13, how am I going to use my knowledge of the place values to convert this number into binary? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at how many 32s would I need to use, use to make the 13? Well, it's too big because 13 is much, much smaller than 32, so I'm not going to use any of that. How many 16s am I going to need? I'm not going to need any of the 16s either because 16 is too big for 13. So the biggest place value I can use is 8 because 8 is the bigger out of the place values which is smaller than 13. So now if I'm used 8, what's the difference between 13 and 8? What is the remainder that I still need to build up from the rest of the place values? So 13 minus 8 makes 5 and 5 can be built up from 4 and 1 which means that I'm not going to use any of the twos. And here is an important thing, that any of the place values that are in between the biggest and smallest place value that I need to use, all the way up to 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, I need to place zeros in between, because these zeros are very, very important. These are the so-called placeholder zeros. Remember that in decimal numbers, 502 and 52 are very, very different. So if I've forgotten this placeholder zero here, and I'm just writing down 52, I'm altering the value of the number. So these place, placeholder zeros are extremely important. Now, zeros I could put in here, but so far it's not important because I'm just telling by placing zeros in here that I'm not using these place values but these zeros are, don't really carry any essential information so these kinds of zeros at the front here the so-called unnecessary zeros so I don't have to write them out therefore I can conclude that 13 in binary is 1 1 0 1 So again, just quickly write up the place value table and the exact decimal numbers as well. And then look at another decimal example. 42 in decimal, what would that be in binary? Now this is a much, much bigger number uh, than the previous example and looking at 42 is 32 the biggest place value I can get out from 42 or can I use the next place value up well the next place value up would be 64 because remember these numbers are always double up if I'm going from right to left 
which means that 64 is too big for my 42. So yes, 32 will be the biggest place value that I can use. Now, what's the remainder? 42 minus 32 gives me a nice and simple number, 10. And again, when I'm looking at these place values, 10 can easily be built up from 8 and 2. Again, don't forget about the placeholder zeros. So I need to place a zero here under 16, here under 4, and here under 1. Whether to put a place value under 64 or not, it's usually your choice, but in practical examples, you don't really see binary numbers starting with zeros unless this is something called like the fixed uh, length place value tables like the 8-bit binaries. But at the moment, we're just looking at general binary numbers. Therefore, 42 in decimal is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 in binary. And again, 42 is an even number, so I'm expecting my last digit the 1 to be 0. Let's up our game and look at a much, much bigger number, 75 in decimal. What would that look like in binary? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little bit tired of writing out all the powers and they don't really give me that much extra information. So what I'm going to do from now on, just write out the decimal place value equivalents, the 1, the 2, the 4, the 8, the 16, the 32, the 64, and the next one is 128. Now, as soon as you went over the number in question with place values, then you know that that place value will not be used, and the biggest place value that you can use to make 75 will be 64. So again, what is the remainder? So what's the difference between 75 and 64? Well, easily calculated as 11. That means 32 is too big, 16 is too big, but 8 will be sufficient. So if I'm using up an 8, what else do I need? So the difference between 8 and 11 is 3, and 3 can be built up from 2 and 1. Again, 4 I haven't used, so I need to place the 0 there to indicate that that place value is not used. So the final binary answer is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And I'm indicating that this is a binary number here. Next example, 122 in decimal. What does it look like in binary? So again, start with the place values. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now, 128 is just a slightly too big, but this means that it's still not place value that I'm going to use. So the biggest place value I can use to build up 122, it's 64 again. So 64 will definitely be used. So what's the remainder? How much more do I need to take out from these place values? So 122 minus 64, 4 is too big for 2 to be taken away from, so I need to borrow from here, therefore 1 stays here, and then 12 appears here. The difference between 12 and 4 is 8. Again, I will need to borrow because 6 is too big for 1, so 0 will be here, 11 will be here, and 11 minus 6 is 5. So 58 is the remainder. 58 I can take 32 out from it. Uh, the remainder in this case will be 26. 26 I can take a 16 out from it. The remainder is 10 and I remember that 10 can be built up from 8 and 2. There are two place values that I need to fill up with zeros because these are placeholders, the, zero, uh, the 4 and the 1. So the binary equivalent of 122 in decimal is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0.
The final example on converting decimal numbers to binary numbers in this video is 249. Again, start with the place values. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 32, 64, 128 and 256. The next one would be 512 but that is too big and so is 256. I just needed to make sure that this number is actually bigger than my place value because if I start with a place value that is slightly too small then I will run out of digits to add together and don't forget you can only put ones and zeros in here so I can't say that I'm using two of the 32 because two is not part of my number system I only have got one and zero so the biggest place value I can take out is the 128 so I'm gonna use one of the 128 and I need to see what's my remainder 9 minus 8 is 1 4 minus 2 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so I still got quite a big number but that number is smaller than 128 so I'm on the right track anytime when you've got a remainder here your remainder should always be smaller than the last place value you've used well, 121 is less than 128, so I'm on the right track. So 64, I will definitely use, but what's the remainder again? So 4 is too big for 1 to be taken away from, therefore I need to borrow again. 11 minus 4 makes it 7. Again, 6, I can take away 6 from 1, so I need to borrow again. 11 minus 6 gives it 5. So I've got 57 as remainder after I've used the 64. The next place value is 32, so take away 32 gives me 7 minus 2 gives 5, 5 minus 3 gives 2, so I'm using the, after the 32 I'm going to use the 16 as well. So the difference here now, 25 minus 16 is 9. And I remember that 9 can be easily built up from 8 and 1, so I'm going to need two placeholder zeros in here. So 249 in decimal is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 in binary. This was our last example. I'm hoping that you understand how to convert decimal numbers to binary numbers using the place values and that you probably find it uh, easy. In the next minute, you will have some opportunities to practice these questions yourself and you will have the answers after. So these are the practice questions. And here are the answers.